witness the strength of street knowledge. questions. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Neil Croswell. My lovely assistant, you just saw, that was Ashley DeSilva. We're here to have some fun tonight, you guys? Yeah! But uh, I would love to start off by showing you something pretty cool using this piece of wood. All I need to do is say the magic words I learned in church as a little boy. Bingo. <laughs> and just like that, a little shake. A little wiggle, two ropes, the exact. You know what? I liked it better when we had one piece. Let's start from the beginning. Oh. The only problem was, is my parents didn't support the fact that I wanted to be a professional skateboarder. They said, Neil, you need to get a real job. <laughs> so I became a magician. <laughs> Actually, the real reason they didn't support it is they said, Neil, it's way too dangerous. If you go to the skate park, you or somebody you know is bound to get hurt. But little did they know that by supporting me in my magic, I'd actually be getting into a much more dangerous profession. Let me show you why. Just so the audience knows, we didn't set anything up before the show or anything like that. We've never met before, correct? No? You sounded different over the phone, Aaron. <laughs> now let's think about this. Before the show, I made a prediction. My prediction has been sitting here the entire time. Is there any way before the show I could have known you were going to choose Michael Jackson? No. no. There's no way. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> no is exactly what I predicted, that there would be no way. <laughs> You're not buying it. This is actually a giant envelope, and inside the envelope is one picture, and one picture only. Believe it or not, a picture of Michael Jackson as a baby. Yep. It's MJ. You're still not buying it. You're saying this could be any baby. Well, not any baby. You know, what if she chose somebody like Elton John? This wouldn't work. That's why I come prepared. Elton John as a baby. <laughs> but the truth is that she did choose Michael Jackson and that is exactly who I predicted.
Down in the hand it goes, a snap of the fingers, and with any luck, Suzanne is now rich, and that $5 American bill has turned into <laughs> a Canadian quarter. <laughs> I knew the exchange rate was bad, but this is ridiculous. You know what? I, I obviously, this didn't go as planned, so I'm going to make it up to you guys. I need to borrow another bill. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Suzanne, I wouldn't do that to you. Using the change, I'm gonna buy Suzanne a drink. Not just any drink, my favorite type of drink, Twister Cola. Now, for those of you who've never heard of Twister Cola before, I will show you where it gets its name. All you have to do is take the Coke label like this. You fold it up nice and small, and you give it one last final twist, hence the name Twister Cola. And with any luck, that label starts to look a lot like an American $5 bill. You believe it's torn up because I'm showing you the pieces. You also believe it because I'm telling you it's torn up. But the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, is it's all just an illusion. But there was one article in particular that she could really relate to. You see, it was about a magician's assistant, much like herself. The only difference was this particular magician's assistant learned all of her magician's secrets. She then quit being his assistant and went on to have an even bigger magical career than the magician she used to work for. Hey, Ashley, you wouldn't do that to me, would you? No? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs>